The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. Good morning and welcome to the Seminole Nation radio program on this fine July morning. I'll tell you what, we had some great weather this week, Joe. Oh, we sure did. Oh, I know. I mean, and and, uh, I'm sure it's going to get hotter, but we sure did enjoy the week. Welcome to the Seminole Nation radio program right here on AM. 1260 KWSH and FM 97.7 every Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock. Uh, sitting beside me this morning, I have Mr. Joe Kuhn co-hosting with me this week. He's the director of the language program. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. It's uh, good to be here this morning. Well, Boy, the weather's been good and all my peaches are ripe. They're falling oh, off the tree. Uh, they're delicious. I oh, eat some yeah. of them. Maru. And also, we have a guest in the studio. We'll be talking with her in the second half, Misty Powell with the Seminole Nation Language Program. You want to give him a wave there, Misty? Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we'll be talking to her just in a little bit about the very all-important LIHEAP program and other services available through Seminole Nation Social Services. Joe, you know, you and I did something yesterday that uh, I think is kind of monumental. Uh, we worked uh, along with Jeremy and everybody on the staff at the language program, Delaney and everyone, uh, on a upcoming CD release, a hymns of the Seminole, uh, Muscogee Seminole Creek uh, people. And uh, I tell you that we had, uh, uh, first of all, we had... Uh, Pearl Thomas as a guest with us. She sang the national anthem, and the national anthem, of course, was translated by our own uh, Marianne Marthley. Uh, Marianne was there in the studio with us as well, and uh, we, you know we really enjoyed that. But we also had uh, other folks. We had Jimsy Harjo. Uh, we had Eloise Factor, Delois Ralston. Uh, of course, uh, Joe Coon, and uh, we'll see who else. Who, who am I missing? Uh, Edwin Marshall. Uh, yeah, but it seems like we had another lady. Uh, was that no, all? I don't think it was all. Okay, yeah. all right. But anyway, uh, we recorded the CD. It's got ten cuts on it, and it'll be coming out pretty soon. Uh, we'll be notifying you when that will be available. But I think this one is really hit the spot, Joe. Yeah, uh, it hit the spot with me. I, I you know. I, we did it as a project, but I sat back there, and, and a couple of times I had a little tear come falling down my face. Yeah, know? a lot of these songs are the real old traditional songs and not something that you hear every day. This is something that we'd... This was kind of a language preservation project mm-hmm. and preserving some of these songs. So I think you all will really enjoy it. We're looking forward to releasing it, and we will be announcing a release date. Joe, we got just a clip from that. Uh, we're going to play it at this time. It's just a, about a minute clip. But this is the group singing uh, one cut from that uh, CD. Yeah. Hey. 
like I said, that's just one clip um, of uh, 10 songs that we'll be hearing on that new CD. And that leads me right into the announcements for the churches this coming week. Uh, Joe, tell me about those churches. All right. First, we have Agenda down by South of Maud. And, Presbyterian. Uh, yeah. yeah, Presbyterian Church, Alabama. And I don't know where that's Wilika. at. Wilika. Mm-hmm. Alabama, Quasati. That's near Wilika and Wetumpka. Okay. Belvin Baptist in Okmulgee. Mm-hmm. Cedar Springs. Where's Cedar Springs? Cedar Springs, way up in Cherokee Country. Oh, yeah, yeah. down by Gore or it's somewhere. It's Muskogee, right? Muskogee Church up in Cherokee yeah. Country, yeah. And Cold Springs down by the river. Mm-hmm. Hachijaba, Little Coeta, Little Quasati, Mini Springs, Okmulgee Baptist, Prairie Springs, Spring Church at Sasakwa, Wilgufki, West Ufala, Wewokoji, and Yardika. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, uh, these churches are having fourth or eighth Sundays this week. We realize that a lot of churches have church every Sunday, and maybe a Sunday school program only. And if you'd like to go out and visit in the afternoon after your services, you're certainly welcome. And, and of course, some of you, uh, you know, you're on the traditional schedule once every four weeks. So if you're available and you want to go to one of these churches, they'll welcome each and every one of you every time that they have this meeting. So come on out. You know, on eight Sundays, most churches will sing that uh, dismissal song, and we've we've got that on that CD. Yes, that dismissal song yeah. is on that CD, and I think I think everybody's really going to enjoy that I CD. Think so. All right. You heard that, by the way, as uh, we were playing that clip. You heard the very distinctive voices of Eloise Factor and Mariana Martha and Jim C. Harjo, and of course Joe Coon. So I think, like I said, you all are really going to enjoy that CD. All right, uh, we got the new schedule out for OAP, Older Americans Program uh, Lunch Feeding Program, and it's held at the Senior Citizen Center uh, every day at noon there in Wewoka, except Fridays where they're open for breakfast. But today it's meat and hominy with green beans, fried bread, and jello. Man, I'll tell you, meat and hominy juice with that fried bread, Joe, that just, man, I love that stuff. Put a little black pepper in there. Tomorrow, it's going to be salt pork, navy beans, tater babies, cornbread, and peaches. And then on Thursday, looks like liver and onions, mashed potatoes, gravy, fried okra, hot rolls, strawberry, shortcake. Man, I'm afraid they'll have to eat them liver and onions without me, Joe. (laughs) You like liver and onions? Uh, I used to, but I don't eat it no more. It's too rich. Uh, too rich. Okay, for that's me. a good way to describe it. That, <laughs> yeah, it's too rich. Too rich for me. All right. Then on Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning, starting at 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock, they have bacon, scrambled eggs, hash browns, biscuits and gravy, cereal, and milk. And then next Monday, hamburger, fries, baked beans, and peaches at noon. Uh, so if you're 55 and older, you're a Native American, and... Uh, you're certainly eligible to come and eat. Uh, if you're not, I'm sure that there's a uh, like a price for those that aren't old enough yet. Uh, if you want to go out and eat with the elders, but man, I'll tell you what, they got some got some good cooks over there, Joe, and I, I enjoy it every time I eat over there. Hey, you know what? I got to ask you a question. What's that? You know, when growing up, I used to hear potatoes ajilihi. What is the correct word for ajilihi? Ajilihi. Ajilihi. Chilihi. Oh, aha uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, okay. Well, we always said aha chilihi. Chilihi. I forgot now. Aha <laughs> chilihi. <laughs> uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. uh-huh. Hey, look what's going on today, Joe. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, Seminole Nation Career Casino Careers uh, today at uh, nine to four p.m. at the Casino West Entrance there uh, at uh, I forty and uh, Seminole Junction. So it's a job fair. They got all kinds of go- uh, jobs. A lot of openings. Yeah, a yeah. lot of openings. So go down there, and they got uh, concession positions available too. So uh, it, uh, bring your driver's license, Social Security card, and CDIB card, and <coughs> it's Native American preference. So good pay uh, and good benefits. Good, by good the pay way. and good benefits. Yeah. So come all check right. it out. All right. Seminole Nation of Oklahoma will be accepting seal bids for salvage vehicles. The vehicles will be sold as is and are not guaranteed. They may be viewed at the Mexican Mission grounds across from the gymnasium one day 
on July the 12th uh, from 1.30 to 4. And I think they're probably just sitting out there if you want to drive by and take a look at them. Uh, bidders may write the bid amount and list any vehicles they wish to bid on and place this information in a sealed envelope. Uh, you can. Uh, the deadline to receive these bids will be tomorrow, July 17th at 5 o'clock. The successful bidders will be contacted by phone no later than July 19th, which is Friday. Uh, you can make payment by cash or money order made payable to Seminole Nation of Oklahoma by 5 p.m. on, PM on July 26th. Uh, all vehicles are to be removed within 10 working days of payment. Uh, and if you don't remove them, uh, the vehicle ownership will revert back to the tribe and payment will not be returned. Uh, contact Lori Proctor if you want more information at 405-257-7215 and Mike Sisko at 405-257-7231. Man, if you ever wanted an Indian hoop, here's a way to get it right here. <laughs> if you ain't got no place to park it, ain't park it at my house. I got three of them <laughs> laying out there. <laughs> 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 Joe, you're silly. Um, I'll tell you what. Tell us a little bit about this uh, event right here. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, Seminole Nation CHR 2019 Health Fair, July 26th, First Baptist Church at the Bridge. They call it the Bridge. Uh, registration's at 1230, and I encourage you to, to come out there because uh, uh, Julie's uh, in, charge of that, in charge of that, and she was wanting and so, us and some of us or whoever wants to come out and sing some Indian hymns or native hymns while uh, they're, having a, they're having a health fair, and I volunteered to sing. So uh, if there's anybody that wants to come out and help me sing, you're welcome to do it that day. It's going to be... At the bridge, First Baptist Church at the bridge on uh, on uh, July the 26th. And so I'll be there. So I hope I see you there. All right. Joe, uh, just a kind of a reminder that we're getting close to the Seminole Nation Days Festival, the Tribal Festival. Uh, I got a little bit of information on the baby pageant. Uh, age divisions are 0 to 12 months old, 1 to 2 years old, 3 to 4 years old, and 5 to 6 years old. Each category will have one little mister and one little miss based on the category scoring. Uh, little miss and mister photogenic. Little miss, mister and little miss crowd favorite. Little mister and little miss charitable. Uh, so there's a, that's coming up on September the 14th at the Haney Center. So if you want more information on that, you can contact our Head Start program, Seminole Nation Head Start program, and you can get an official application from those folks. And by the way, I think I have some information here to get a hold of the Head Start. Uh, Miccosukee Mission Center is 405-234-5226. The Barking Water Center in Wawoka is 405-257-7220. Or the Conowal Center is 580 580- Nine two five five seven five zero. Yeah, that's, that's getting uh, ready to start back up pretty quick too. So you better get and then, you know they close down if they get too many kids. So you yeah. better get get down there and and get uh, your child enrolled in the in the school head start. Uh, they're accepting applications now at Conwell Center for three and four year old children will be at the Sasakwa Tribal Community Building on July eleventh, two thousand nineteen, from ten to two p.m. Uh, I think that's passed. Are there other? Oh yeah, I know. it's yeah. passed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, go down there and sign them up. You can get them out of the house for a while. Yeah. <laughs> On July the 11th. I'm sorry about that. We, uh, but I'll tell you what, they'll still help you enroll your child. All right. Free food for seniors. Seminole Nation Commodity Supplemental Food Program is a food has a food assistance program. For Seminole County, Oklahoma, senior citizens age 60 and older. It doesn't have to be Native American on this one. It can be any senior citizen 60 and older. You're eligible to receive food assistance through the Seminole Nation Food and Nutrition Service Program. Uh, If you'd like more information on that, you can call them at 405-234-5240. Or if you would like to just go out there and sign up, it's at the Miccosukee Mission, the Seminole Nation Food and Nutrition Services Program. 
The Seminole Nation Housing Authority has job openings in the following positions in the maintenance department. They have a maintenance foreman uh, job opening, a maintenance mechanic A, and another maintenance mechanic A. So they're asking for uh, you to apply if you'd like to have a, a good job in maintenance for the Housing Authority of, of Seminole Nation. They're at 101 South Hijiti. And the phone number is 405-257-6604. And fax number is 405-257-3961. So uh, give them a call. There's some work there. It's almost Christmas, you know, and boy, you can buy some presents when you got money. <laughs> School clothes, huh? Yeah, school clothes. All right. The Seminole Nation BCR Commission has some items for sale. Uh, the proceeds will be go towards a fishing derby held during Seminole Nation days. You can buy pop sockets for your phone. You can buy turtle stickers, the Seminole Nation turtle stickers, uh, sun visors, uh, ashtrays, vanity plates. They got all different prices on these. Usually the turtle stickers are $5, but the rest of them are 15 except for the sun visors, which are 20. Very beautiful design. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, these ashtrays uh, looks like part of a, a car tag that was made into ashtrays with the turtle on it. Real nice. And then the car tags, of course, the vanity plates. It says Seminole on them, and it has a Seminole patchwork design. Very beautiful stuff. And so if you'd like more information about this, uh, get with the BCR Commission at 405-382-382. 8617. Here's a little add on for the Seminole Nation CHR. They're going to be at that same uh, health fair at the bridge at uh, First Baptist Church here in Seminole on Friday, July the 26th. So uh, they're going to they're going to have a blood drive there. And you know, one time I, I went under the went under the uh, I want, well, they put me to sleep to do a minor surgery on me and they told me I was singing while I was giving while I was doing my little, my little surgery. And I said, "Well, if I can sing while I'm under, I might as well sing when I'm awake too." So, uh, you know, we'll be singing some native hymns there that day. All right, all right. Um, let's see. Oh man, let's talk about Seminole Nation Day's powwow. Saturday, September twenty-first, at the Mikasuki Mission Ground, Eighth Annual Jennifer Kishkiton Old Style Women's Cloth will be featured. Uh, uh, gourd dancing is going to be from 2 to two o'clock to 6 o'clock, supper break at 6 o'clock, and the closeout chord dancing at 7, and grand entry will be 8 o'clock. Uh, MC will be R.G. Harris, head singer Richard Deere, head gourd dancer Kevin Fields, head lady dancer Kim Daylight, Kimberly Daylight, head man dancer Marty Thurman. A uh, color guard, of course, will be the Seminole Nation Honor Guard. Arena director will be Larry Sosi. And host Northern Drum will be Blackbird. For more information, you can call 405-274-6791. Okay, you got a vacation Bible school, and it's the uh, title of the vacation Bible school is In the Wild at First Indian Baptist Church, 800 South Creek. And I'm guessing this is uh, Holdenville, right? Yeah. Now, on Tuesday, July 16th through Thursday, July the 18th. 6 to 8 p.m. And most most vacation Bible schools, they have stuff to eat, so, you know, come on down. All right. Native American Youth Summit coming up in August on the 24th featuring Chance Rush, MC1, and Chasky Spencer. Uh, this youth summit will focus on careers, goal setting, relationships, and college preparation. For more information, uh, you can go online at www.org. IHCRC.org slash summit. Native American Youth Summit. That's in Tulsa, Oklahoma on August the 24th. All right. And last of all, we got July the 20th, 12 to 6 p.m. We have the Youth Explosion. It's at the Mikasuke Mission in Seminole, Oklahoma. Contact number is 918-951-8090. And it's called Youth Explosion. They've got uh, groups like New Creation, Visionary, Sean Joseph, and uh, Redefine, Cameron Frank Jr., Amy and Paul Carey, and uh, guest speakers, Erica. Now, you'll have to excuse me if I don't say this right, but it looks like it's Runzabori. Erica Runzabori, guest speaker. So come out to the Youth Explosion, July 20th. 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. All right, and that wraps it up for our announcements. Uh, first of all, uh, before we go to break, 
I want to mention our good friends at the Seminole Quick Pick down at the corner of Highway 99 and 9, uh, the local Sinclair dealer there. Uh, any tribal member, the first tribal member that goes in there today after you hear my voice and tell them you heard it right here on KWSH on the Seminole Nation radio program, you'll get a large, extra large fountain drink. Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, whatever you want. So go down there, Seminole Tribal member. Go in there. Tell them you heard it right here on the radio today on the radio program. Tell them you heard about them, and they'll give you a big old giant free Coke. Hey, we'll be right back with another part of our program here after Highlights from the Nation with Jeremy Pulse. It's Stongo Seminole This is Jeremy Fultz with Highlights from the Nation. Last week, the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma attended the Intertribal Council of the Five Civilized Tribes. The main topic was to address Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt's letter to all the tribes in the state about renegotiating the Tribal State Gaming Compact. Tribal leaders expressed their disappointment in the action by Governor Stitt. Here's Chickasaw Governor Bill Anatubby presenting the resolution. We all have come together. We met yesterday. We've been discussing this matter. And I think it's important to note that these nations that are here assembled represent more than 750,000 native people throughout the United States, primarily in Oklahoma. We express our disappointment and the action by the governor of Oklahoma, Kevin Stitt, to take a matter of such great importance to the media before engaging in respectful and purposeful conversations given the complexity of the compacts and the law. The Senior Tribal Council plans to memorialize through this joint resolution our collective intent to reject the state's attempt to unlawfully and unilaterally terminate the compact. Also check out the communications Facebook page to see our newest fashion models. It was a fun time at ITC with all tribes repping their tribal designs. And Delaney Pinnock, you may have a career waiting on you. And that's your highlights from the nation. Mado Jiga Jiga Mado Jeremy Fultz. He's our sound and uh, camera guy here at the Seminole Nation radio program. <laughs> we were all at that fashion show, and I think Delaney was a, a big a big hit there. I think he picked up a few female fans, too. So <laughs> we had a good time. Hey, also, I want a, a big shout-out to Clara and Dee. They're listening in at the Higher Education Office uh, good morning, girls. I hope y'all are enjoying the Seven Old Nation radio program, Clara and D. All right, we have a guest in the studio with us today, Miss Misty Powell. Don't get tongue tied here, Miss Mi- Miss Misty Powell. Uh, she's the director of our social services program here at Seven Old Nation. Good morning again, Misty. Hi. Good morning. It's good to have you here. You know, uh, I said I mentioned one aspect of your program, but actually, there's a lot of uh, a lot of facets to the social service program. We just talked about LIHEAP. Uh, so real quickly, it's just, it's its heating, I mean, cooling season now, right? Right, right. And we are still currently taking applications for uh, LIHEAP assistance. Um, during the summer, we assist with electric bills, and we have a few uh, AC units available still. Okay, um, LIHEAP stands for Low Income Heating Energy Assistance Program. Mm-hmm. And if a person doesn't qualify for this, is there a tribal program that will assist other tribal members? Um, well, they have uh, the tribal one with us, and then they also have LIHEAP through DHS. Uh-huh. Um, but as far as any other tribal energy program, we have the emergency tribal assistance. Yes. That's strictly for Seminole Nation tribal members. Right, mm-hmm. right. Okay. That's great. And you have other programs there, too. You do burial assistance? Right. Uh, Through our BIA programs, we do burial assistance, uh, general assistance, as well as emergency assistance, uh, which is like house fires or natural disasters um, to anyone's home. Uh, Those programs are restricted to Seminole Seminole County residents only. Um, 
Are these are these tribally funded programs? No, those are federal. Oh, federal. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Seminole, the Seminole jurisdiction only. Yes. Yeah. Do you have other tribal programs that are tribally funded that are just for tri- tribal citizens? Yes, that program is the emergency um, assist uh, tribal assistance program. We call mm-hmm. it ETA. It's uh, for Seminole Nation tribal members only, but they can reside either in Seminole County right. or outside of Seminole County. Right. So it doesn't matter mm-hmm. as far as that goes. Right. If you're eligible, it doesn't matter where you live. Because, you know, I always notice this. I, I used to, I told you I used to work in family services. I used mm-hmm. to be the director. Man, there's a lot of Seminoles in Shawnee, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There's quite a bit in other places as well. Uh, Holdenville, mm-hmm. Wetumpkin. You know, there's Seminoles everywhere. And we help people as far as, like, California that never knew about the program. Yeah. So we try to get the word out as much as we can um, that, you know, there is assistance available to By the way, f- Facebook, we will be rebroadcasting tomorrow evening on Wednesday evening on facebook we always do and uh if you know someone that lives out of state tell them to get on our facebook page and they'll learn about these services i mm-hmm. um, i don't care if you live in nome alaska you know if you're seminole you're eligible for these tribal services right right that's mm-hmm. great that's great what other what other big event uh have you have you got coming up anything anytime soon um not really other than um right now it's just light heap season so that's keeping us pretty busy yeah um and then we'll we'll continue doing that um as funds allow mm-hmm. so um that's basically what we got going on right now mm-hmm. it's mainly just light heap mm-hmm. uh, that we've been busy with <laughs> tell us a little bit about your department how many of you working there now we have, uh, there's four staff members. Uh, currently, we do have a vacancy. So there's three of us. Um, myself as a director, uh, we have Marley King, who is our social services assistant. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have Velvet Hand. She's our child welfare specialist. Mm-hmm. And then currently, we have a vacancy in the social service specialist position. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would encourage anyone um, to check that out on the nation's website. Uh, for details on that, um, we're looking for someone with a BSW, a Bachelor's of Social Work, or someone with a bachelor's at least two years experience within mm-hmm. a related field. Mm-hmm. So, how how closely do you work with the the uh, official with the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Muskogee? Uh, we do have a regional social worker that we work with pretty closely. Mm-hmm. Anytime that we need to staff a case or have questions, is she uh, similar, policy. by the way? I uh, believe so. Clarissa? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, she's Seminole. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so big shout out to Clarissa all the way over in Muskogee. <laughs> uh, yeah. I used to work with Clarissa, by the way, oh, in, okay. in, in the child welfare program here. I, I originally started in child welfare and Clarissa and, and uh, Billy May. Uh, we all worked in there, but uh, we uh, that's where I first knew her. And she moved on, got her master's degree, and yeah. went on to to the uh, bureau job in Muskogee. So uh, we always like to acknowledge people that do good, and Clarissa has done very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, do you have any other things that you want to mention? Uh, any? Um, no, other than if there's any other questions anyone might have or is looking for resource, resources or any kind of assistance, just to contact our office. Uh, myself or Marley King or Velvet Hand will be happy to assist. Um, our number is 405-257-6257. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We close 12 to 1 for lunch. 257-6257. That's 405 area code as Seminole Nation Social Services. Yes, sir. All right. Misty, I, I can't let you go without acknowledging the fact that you are uh, the same pal that's related to all the other Seminole pals in our nation, <laughs> that family from around we woke in the Holdenville area. So right. all you pals out there, your kin folks making good over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you here this morning, Misty. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining having me. us. All right. Go ahead and keep your seat right there. We're going okay. to turn that microphone just a little bit. Joe's going to close us out with a, uh, a Muskogee Seminole Creek hymn, uh, as he usually does. And uh, uh, by the way, I also want to acknowledge the traditional folks. Joe, I went to a green corn uh, ceremony this weekend up at Polecat. That's a Uchi place. 72 ribbon dancers, 72 ribbon dancers, and at least that many men uh, taking medicine and dancing. They had a big celebration up there, and, I, and you know, they fed everybody. Mm-hmm. That was such a great deal, and I know that uh, Tallahassee, Wakogai, they had their green corn this last weekend, David Proctor, Miko, and they had a, I hear they had a big crowd, so... Uh, for all of our uh, traditional people, we want to say Happy New Year to everybody out there uh, in the traditional world. So, 
Uh, Joe, close us out with a song there, if you will. Well, I was going to try to help with this song yesterday, and uh, with some, you know, different areas sang a little bit differently than others, but I want to sing this song. May Halloween Ta Lo Fa This has been a production of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma. Mado, jigga, jigga, jigga.